Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Today's topic is diversity and magnitude of organic compounds. From class 10th, chapter number 11. So here, what's the word diversity exactly mean? We all know there are total of 118 elements known today. The number of organic compounds is more than 10 million. Wow, can you believe it? This number is far more than the number of compounds of all the remaining elements taken together. So that's all known as diversity. Or we can say it magnitude. We are talking about that how many and how much organic compounds are present all around us. Here we're gonna discuss that what are the reasons of such a large diversity and magnitude of organic compounds. So let's discuss them one by one. There are total 118 elements are present all around us and out of which 92 elements are naturally occurring elements. One of the very important property of carbon is catenation. So what the word catenation means? The ability of carbon atoms to link with other carbon atoms to form long chains and large rings is called catenation. The main reason for the existence of large number of organic compounds is that carbon atoms can link with another by means of covalent bond to form long chains and rings of atoms. Now, as this is catenation, but please memorize it. Two basic conditions for an element to exhibit catenation are elements should have valency 2 or greater than 2 to carry out catenation. And as we know that carbon has a valency of 4 as it belongs to group number 14 and it has 4 electrons in its outermost shell. So now, as its valency is greater than 2, it can easily carry out catenation. Secondly, bonds made by an element with its own atoms should be stronger than the bonds made by the elements with other atoms. So always remember, inner bonding is always stronger than the outer bonding. Carbon used to form bonds with other carbon atoms. And as same atoms join together, they give more stronger bond than as compared to the other atoms. Now here the question arises, why silicon doesn't show catenation like carbon. Although silicon also belongs to group number 14. So why doesn't show the property of catenation? A very important question which used to come in exams. So please take a pen and paper and write the answer. It is mainly due to the reason that carbon carbon bonds are much stronger than silicon bonds. Carbon bonds have an energy of 355 kilojoule mole inverse, while that of silicon have an energy of 200 kilojoule mole inverse. Secondly, the silicon atom is larger than the carbon atom. We all know that as we move down the group in the periodic table, atomic radii increases. The size of an atom will increase. So, the covalent radius of silicon atom is triple one picometer and that of carbon is double seven picometer, which makes it more difficult for silicon to form a tetrahedral arrangement with other atoms. Thirdly, 
silicon occurs in the form of silica and silicates in nature or we can say in the combined form so that's all because of it silicon doesn't show catenation while carbon shows second important feature due to which organic compounds show diversity is isomerism now here the word isomerism means iso means same and merism means composition so the compounds are said to be isomers if they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula now here the composition is not changing but the arrangement is changing so it gives us diversity of organic compounds let's take an example now here are the isomers of butane and pentane so let's discuss them one by one in case of butane we have two isomers n butane and isobutane in n butane we have four carbon atoms similarly in isobutane we have four carbon atoms but their arrangement is different one carbon is present in a branched form with the other carbon atom in isobutane so now the total number of carbon atoms are same but their arrangement is different that's why hydrocarbons show diversity now in case of pentane how many number of carbon atoms are present in pentane yes you are 100% right five carbon atoms having linked with hydrogen atoms to satisfy their valence now what is happening here we have n pentane we have isopentane and we have neopentane in all the three cases the number of carbon atoms are 5 but their arrangement is different we used to give the name iso when carbon number 2 having a branch whenever carbon number 2 in a chain have branched on it it will be named as iso isopentane or isobutane it doesn't matter that whatever the chain of hydrocarbon is but if carbon number 2 having a branch on it it will be known as iso so now in n pentane we have a straight chain of five carbon atoms while in case of isopentane we have a branch on second carbon atom and if i move toward neopentane again it has five carbon atoms but the central carbon is linked with four carbon atoms all around and that will be known as neopentane having the same atoms but different arrangement so this shows isomerism and this is the feature due to which hydrocarbons shows diversity now the strength of the bond also matters a lot how can we ignore it due to its very small size carbon can form very strong covalent bonds with other carbon atoms hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and halogens are also attached with carbon this enables it to form a large number of organic compounds and here comes a very important property and that is multiple bonding we know that carbon wants to satisfy its tetravalence carbon can make multiple bonds it means single bond double and triple bonds single covalent bond in ethene carbon is attached with carbon by means of a single covalent bond double covalent bond ethene carbon makes double bond with the other carbon atom and triple covalent bond in ethene it means carbon is forming triple bond with the other carbon atoms so now let's discuss them one by one 
Now, this is an example of single covalent bond. Methane. It has one carbon atom. Carbon belongs to group 4A, having four electrons in its valence shell. Now, every atom wants to get stable. So, carbon also. Carbon has four electrons in its valence shell. It formed covalent bond with four hydrogen atoms. Each hydrogen is giving its one electron when it needs. So, in this way, after taking one electron from each hydrogen atom, carbon completes its octet rule, having a single bond with hydrogen atoms. And hydrogen is satisfying its duplet rule, having one its own and one taken from the carbon. As we know that hydrogen belongs to group number one. So it has one electron in its outermost shell and one will be taken from carbon when it needs. So in this way, it will complete its two electrons in its outermost shell. And carbon will complete its eight electron by taking one electron from hydrogen, from each hydrogen. And form a single bond with hydrogens, which named as methane. Well, if I talk about ethane, as we know that there is a series, methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane and so on. Now, if I move toward ethane, having two carbon atoms and each carbon is satisfying its valency. But now here, carbon is forming a single bond with other carbon atom in case of ethane. So now, as one bond is between carbon and carbon, so two hydrogens will become less and the remaining bonds will join with rest of the hydrogens. And here, the number of hydrogen atoms are less than as compared to methane with each carbon. Each carbon having three hydrogen atoms. So in this way, having a single bond between carbon and carbon, it can form ethene, methane, propane, butane and so many other organic compounds. Now the multiple bonding in carbon, that is carbon-carbon double bond and carbon-carbon triple bond. So now, in first example, it is ethene, in which carbon is forming double bond with other carbon atoms. Now as carbon is forming double bond with the other carbon atom, the number of hydrogen atoms will become less than as compared to in ethene. Here, carbon is satisfying its two valencies with other carbon atom. And the rest of the two valency is satisfied by hydrogen. While in ethene, carbon is forming triple bond with the other carbon atom. And the rest of the valency is satisfied by hydrogen. So in this way, carbon can form multiple bonds with other carbon atoms. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.